Good morning, everyone. Just good morning. Uh, this is Cows Creations. It's a Thursday morning here in Perth. I have just finished uh, the colourful terrain, dry brushing and so forth. So what we have here is it's been painted black. Uh, and then I've gone over with a heavy, heavy coat of Mournfan Brown. It's a dry brush coat, but it's you know, very, very heavy over the top. And then afterwards, I have used a dry Necron compound and gone over it as such. Now, for most people, realistically, that's good enough just to whack on the board. But, you know, I want to up my game a little bit. So what I'll be doing is I shall be painting a lot of details. So, for example, like all Necromunda stuff, skulls and lots of skulls. We have little skull imprints there. Uh, we have skulls in these gaps here. We have skulls here. So these skulls, some will be painted gold, some will be painted like, you know, a very sort of creamy sort of colour, and then I'll just wash them over with a bit of brown, maybe some dirty down or something, I don't know. Um, and we flip these things over. Now, these are all very different. So this one's got screens. So what I'll do here is I might keep one screen not working like it's just broken. Repaint this one in black and then do some like little words, tiny little things written on the screen. Same with these ones over here. If I, if I can, I'll give it a go. I don't know with my eyesight, but I can give it a go. I can try. And also the wiring here, um, lots of wiring. So I'll be doing that in reds and greens and blues. And once again, it'll be dirtied up. So I mean, clean stuff in Necromunda below ground is next to impossible. You know, if you found you know, a piece of um, cloth it would have dirt on it somewhere or a blood stain or something would be wrong with it. It's just how Necromunda is. Uh, only the upper tier has anything that's all clean and nice. There's a lot to do and there's lots of different variations of such. Uh, so, you know, some parts like this, which I've done a little bit heavy with the silver and that's fine. You can have one pipe that looks perfectly normal and the rest of it looking quite terrible. That makes it stand out, makes it look pretty. The doors, I love that they actually open and close on a hinge. I think that's absolutely beautiful. What I might do with some of these doors is um, get some sand, glue it in there, and then paint it up like it's got some, you know, literally rust that's hanging off the end of the door in that in those crevasses. I mean, that looks fine the way it is. It looks rusted and dusty and so forth. But in some parts of my life, I might want to really cake it up, make it look like it's thick with rust. So that's the game plan anyway. Uh, there is so much detail on these things. I think I could spend a week just doing one of these, let alone doing a whole lot. But that said, I've got uh, plenty of time on my hands. I can just, you know, go away bit by bit by bit and do what I want, how I want, and come back and then do some more. I still have the Beastman to put together. The Beastman will be done, hopefully... Uh, the end of this week, that's the, no, it's a hopeful wish anyway. So we'll see how we do. I do have the uh, Gallifall Beastman. I also have my um, Half Horn from Necromunda. And I also purchased off eBay four of the um, Beastmen with chainsaws just to make it a little bit different, you know. Beastmen I play in Mordenheim quite a lot. I love them. They're really great. And I think a Mordenheim, sorry, Mordenheim, a Necromunda Beastman group would be great as well. You even get a Bray Shaman in the um, Gallifall set, which is absolutely amazing. So what I might do is give, uh, and I'm also going to use Dirty Down, and I've also got this stuff, which apparently does like a bronze sort of like aquamarine look. I'll give that a go. I'm always opening to trying new things and different things and see how they work. And I might not use it on bronze, I might use it on gold, I might use it on copper, I might use it on, uh, you know, different things and see what other techniques I can get out of it. Let's just try it out. I have some great terrain. Let's find out and see what happens. Anyway, I'm starting to babble. Uh, I will do an update in a couple of days. Everyone have a great day. Kyle signing off. Uh, stay safe and have fun. Bye.